fucked up! Hello guys, my name is Blue Digit, and welcome to There Is No Escape. This is a psychological horror game that deals with heavy topics of mental illness, and I thought you guys uh, should enjoy this. So, buckle in if you haven't already. Please subscribe if uh, you don't hate orphans. And uh, this has all been done live on Twitch, so if you want to see this live, uh, please go check that out. So, um, I'll see you guys in the video. There Is No Escape. That's kind of cool. Uh, skibbity, skibbity, bibbity. Jane? Jane? Dude, how many times did I have to say Jane, bro? What the fuck? Jane, where are you? Jane! Good night, love. Dude, Jane, fuck it. <laughs> Hi, honey. You need to take your medication right now. You cannot miss your schedule. Dude, why is it always gym? Like, it's just me, but like, all these, like, games have, like, fucking gyms, like, the main name. Also, yesterday I saw that the medication was running low, so before I came from work, I stopped by a pharmacy to get your medication. Yes. I do take my medication today. Also, yeah, if you wouldn't have seen them, the pills would be out by now. I was about to drive to the pharmacy, thank you. You know, I always got your back. By the way, I visited the doctor today, and she said that you are not allowed to be in the possession of a firearm whatsoever. Okay, I can see where this is going. Well, is he schizo? Am I schizo? I had a nightmare again. I, pro I probably do actually have a schizophrenia. Or is it depression? I'm not sure. We'll find out. We'll find Because, like, obviously, this I need to use the bathroom. There's, there's obviously something going on here where it's like true mental illness, so. Okay. Doctor's prescription. All right. Dr. Emily Thompson, MD psychiatrist. Uh, patient, Jim Burke, 47. Dog yep, there we go. I, I was right about two of them. Okay, schizophrenia, dementia. Oh, that's... And depression. Uh, medication. Uh, okay. Uh, restrictions. For your safety and well-being, we advise against possession of firearms. Okay. I should probably pick up the flashlight. What the fuck is a flashlight, bro? Oh, it's up. It's all the way up there. I can hardly even stand, bro. Picked up a flashlight. Bro, I'm trying to hop for that shit. Okay. Yo. Okay. There's like some rats snuck into my house again. Oh, I, oh, that's cold. Janice Def Studio presents. There is no escape. He picked up a fork. That's kind of cold. I, I like those little intro things when you do like that. What's this? Whoa. I like this. This already feels creepy as shit. Looks like I left some food. Must be why they were- Okay, why am I hearing shit? Get up. Get out of this. He okay, what's this? I know I just saw her. I know it. I just do. Call Jane. Wait, is Jane not real? Wait, 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 wait. I have- How would you want to bet Jane's not real? Is not a working number. Yeah, Jane's Please not real, I bet. Go back to the alley with Message the fork. Three. No fucking way. I miss you, Jane. I wish you were here. Can I, like, get out of this? I love you. What the fuck? <laughs> I don't know why I find that kind of funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what the fuck? Fucking fuck! It's fucking Roblox, dude. Like, why? Why that scare me, bro? It's fucking Roblox. I don't remember the front door being barricaded with wooden planks. It is coming. Guns. Where time is near. Who? Who? What? Repair. Rat interest. I'm missing something. So there's something going on with obviously her as like... She was here. I can remember she still is... She isn't gone. 
Yeah, I think I think she's haunting him because I think I think she's actually dead. That's what I'm guessing. Take up a wooden plank. What's this say? Miriam. Okay, it doesn't. I can't fucking read that shit. I must be too sleepy to read what the book cover has to say. What's that noise? Do not fuck with me. There's no sprint button, so at least that's good. But like, how much you want to bet she's gonna pop around the corner again or some shit? What's this? What the fuck is this? A feet. Why do I have this horrifying picture? My. Yeah. Okay. Gone. Where? This is the bat. Dude, what the hell is this shit? This is okay. This better be because I'm actually having like issues and not because like this is what I actually like thought would look good. It scared me. I just thought there was someone like a wheelchair over there. Dude, I'm starting to see shit. I'm starting to see shit. Like from this angle, it looked like there's like a guy sitting right there and that's a wheelchair. There's there's a lot I could say already about like the topics like, they're bringing up because like like a lot of things about this is just. I, was, I don't even know what to say. Like, dementia is honestly the scariest out of all of them. Because you that's when, like, you can't tell what is real and what's not. And especially the problem, like, it, it continues to get bad. Like, so, like, it's not in, like, a static state. Like, it just, it gets worse and worse and worse. And dementia scares me. I could rant about it for a while, but uh, nowhere at the beginning of time, I think it is, the soundtrack. If you haven't heard of that, it is almost the perfect artistic representation, in my opinion, of um, dementia. And... Went to the bathroom! I'd like to imagine that big horn was like just a giant fart noise. <laughs> Where am I? What is this place? Blood. Blood equals scary. I must get out of here. Take the gun and shoot it. <laughs> it's not funny. It's just like, it's just funny how like kind of some of this is in my face. Yeah, like a lot of this is just like sharp, just dementia. Well, okay, let me take this. Okay, so like, I, I guess I'm speaking more about Alzheimer's. I took that back because, like, are you sure? You can already tell this shit's gonna go bad. I bet you it's gonna be like a monster issue and it's like our wife or some shit. No, I'm probably speaking more about Alzheimer's, but like dementia is still really fucking bad. Paired with depression and schizophrenia, nah. What the fuck? What the hell is this? These flowers were from my wedding. How are they here? But there's certain things that are like are just. Whoa. Okay, we're done. No, 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 no. You're done. Oh! Oh no! This day meant a lot to me. Dude, what am I, a fucking ring bear? I'm not even tall enough for the... Okay. I can still remember how these flowers smelled like to this day. Okay, the fart noise is not like I understand it's trying to be like epic and scared, but it's not scaring me, bro. It's just a giant fucking fart noise to me. <laughs> New memory unlocked. Wedding. But here's the thing. So it's dementia with schizophrenia. The problem with that duo is the fact that you don't know if these memories you are unlocking are your own real memories. You understand what I'm saying? Like, like that's a big problem. Inspect photograph. September 24th, 1998. This was taken by my grandfather's old photo camera. Is anybody there? Or oh, my bad, my bad. <laughs> Is anybody there? What's this? March 17th, 1999. This is Jane's first car. Who are you? And why do you sound so familiar? I am not real. What are you talking about? You were talking to me.
In the metals waltz on paths unknown. A twist of destiny, a fate was sown. Shattered glass, a course of despair. Life's detour, veiled in a metal layer. Navigate the wreckage, unravel the unknown. Is that some kind of sick puzzle? Or is this some kind of sick puzzle? Hmm. July 24th, 1999. We were watching the sunset together. Jim. Answer me! Oh shit, there's Jane. That was, I thought, well done. Uh, that's also why, like, I'm glad we didn't do the VHS, because we probably would have been, a we wouldn't have been able to see her right there if that was, yeah. <gasps> Bed! I can't take this anymore. I hate my life. I can't stand it anymore. All I do is sleep all day and do nothing else. Why is she not coming home? Why is my life like this? I didn't deserve this, Lord. I didn't deserve all three of these illnesses. I hate you, Lord. I really do. You betrayed me. I have a plan. I think I should do it. However, it is really hard to get myself to do it. By the time reading this, you already know if I did or not. If I did or not. Thank you for everything. Other than the, and other than the funny horn, this is like a very serious video. I, I really do appreciate the way it's taking its time with this. Look behind you. There's blood inside the car. Yeah, she probably died in a crash, and he can't accept that. That's probably where these this illnesses started coming from. She probably read the license plate. J N E eight seven five three. Jeez, though. That's all I gotta say. Just jeez. Ah! Fucking fuck! It's Roblox. It's a kid's game. I shouldn't be scared by this this stupid flippity flapping Roblox model of pink hair, bro. Like what? I don't know, man. I got issues with that one, man. Like what? It came in my face, bro. Like, like how am I supposed to feel about that? Huh? There is no escape. Huh? I must protect myself. What? Huh? No! I shouldn't say I'm surprised. Cause of death suicide. Jim suffered from severe schizophrenia and depression. Okay. Oh, the one behind her. Okay, so so the see that behind behind him with um Jane. Oh my God! And all happened. It all happened right there. Okay, so I'm going to stop right here and start talking because obviously this is a more, um, this is a strong topic. And I, I really did enjoy this game, actually. I, I enjoyed this quite a bit. Were there a lot of cheap jump scares? Yeah, but like, let's be real, dude. That's kind of part of the reason why you play these games. It's for those just like experiences and you're not going to be playing this over and over and over again. And I enjoy those little jump scares. They, they did well for a, a Roblox game. And this is some pretty serious topics for a Roblox game. So, I'm going to get some bad stuff out of the way. I think the gravestones at the end added a... Like, other than confirming that we were right about how Jane died, and, like, also this right here confirming how, like, this is all in his head, and he was just standing there the whole time. It, it was very interesting. Um, but, like, 
I guess I, I being immersed that obviously wouldn't be sent in the gravestone. And it felt like a little funny to me. Not the topic, but like just how it was presented, how you have a little Roblox character face on like a gravestone after that happened. Um when I think it would have been a lot more fucked up if you just pan from the black of you know, the person committing the act, and then to this, my opinion. Two. The music for when you heard the giant horns, it's like, brr, like, okay, I'm sorry. I, I kept laughing my ass if I heard that shit. That was funny as fuck to me. I couldn't, that wasn't scary. I was, <laughs> I kept just thinking about how we went to the bathroom and then every single time we go into a new room, I just hear, brr, like, it's, just, it's not scary to me. Um, it could have been done a little bit better with sound design. So that is where I will give it a, a little bit of a, but other than that, it was all done very, 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 very well done. Um, you could argue this wasn't a new or original topic or story. And I, I would agree. This isn't anything new or original or anything like that. Um, with that being said, though, I do also want to say this. It doesn't have to be. And stories don't always have to be. A story has to just be what it is. A story and it has to convey the message that the creator wants to make. And hopefully it's one that's new that they actually feel like there's some passion they get behind it. And I do felt the passion behind this because... Clearly, this is a story about mental uh, mental health, mental illness. We've heard of the cliches of obviously, you know, how, I mean, the first thing I thought of immediately was that she's not alive and she's dead when I was right. Because it's, you know, it's when you have stories like this about, you know, mental health, obviously, you're going to have usually a twist. And that's what we saw here. But it's just the way that it was, it was taken, it's just the way that it was dealt with. Because I really love just all the foreshadowing and the way that, it felt grounded, even though you already kind of had, like, a strong hint of what was going on. So, for example, like, all the notes everywhere, or all the different paintings, or, like, how he kept seeing her, and he's like, oh, she's still alive. Like, clearly, it brought us the reason to why he felt this way, and it put into us, clearly, like, why he's still having to deal with these different issues and thoughts, and um, how it's not just as easy for, like, a normal player, and this is why we play the game, right? It's not easy for someone to just be like, oh, they don't exist, or, oh... Um, I'll just get over it. Like, clearly, there's there's more that builds upon each other. And you have a pretty big three right there. What? Depression, dementia, and then schizophrenia? Like, that's a lot of stuff that's kind of all working against this one guy. And um, that's why, when I did say, like, you know, he probably made some false memories based off schizophrenia. Um, that's probably what did happen. And it's really sad. It's really, really, really sad. Um... I thought the, uh, the foreshadowing is great. Um, the writing, even though it was predictable, was also done very solidly. Um, you don't always need to do something that's completely brand new and just creative. Like, sometimes you just need to make a story that people can come together and feel. And this, sure, is a Roblox, yeah. But I think for a lot of age groups, despite it being serious, that end part where someone puts a gun to their mouth like that, that's hard, no matter who you are, and that spoke to me, and I'm very glad that they made this, so uh, I'm not sure they can hear me, but um, to the creator of this game, thank you, you did a wonderful job with this, and I thought the execution was great, um, I enjoyed every bit of it, it was a dark story, but it was one that I felt like was needed, and I am glad that you told it. Okay, it tells you, so you can't, okay, so I'm glad, I'm kind of glad, you know, we'll try it again and not pick up the gun, that's what we'll do. I know what I need to do. I can't wake up. I'm not... I'm not even real. I was never real. I'm not the one I always thought I was. I never had a Jane. I never had my own home. Who am I?
what am I? Jimmy, wake up. Come down for breakfast. The other kids are already full. Come on, you can't stay in your room all day. Now I realize who I truly am. I don't have a home. I've never had a home. I'm just a sick kid. I don't need anyone. Maybe I'm right. I'm just a kid who lives inside a mental health facility. I don't even have parents that can sit beside me. Why did I deserve this, Lord? All I ever wanted was a loving mother. Oh, so the letters are all scrambled just to say, that's very cool. Jimmy, come down for breakfast. Okay, that's really cool, actually. So that's who she really is. What? That's wild, bro. Okay, that's fucking wild. That's kind of cool. That's wild, bro. I don't know, to me, that, that, that's true horror. Because, like, this, what we just saw, is what he's literally going through. And there's none of it is real. None of it that we saw was real except for this. What the fuck? Literally what he thinks is reality isn't reality. Like, dude, that's fucked. Dude, that's fucking crazy. Okay, don't get me wrong, like, with schizophrenia, you could argue, like, it's kind of, like, a way out with a lot of things. So, I'll give it that. Like, you could say, oh, well, actually, none of it was real. Now, that's just what happens. But, like, it's just, like, I don't know, for a Roblox game and, like, having the two endings and the most popular one and one be, like, and it's very nice to see the contrast. How, like, literally one is, like, okay, we'll play the game by what you think the world is. And then, the, the, the real ending is, like, yeah, no, you're, you're, it, it's all fake. Like, there's just the contrast is very nice it's a very this is one of the few examples where like having the two differences in like endings is important i really this was good this was fucking good um wow wow that was really good actually i'm glad we actually I, i'm not always the biggest fan of like going for all the endings but like this was a good ass ending this was a very good ending so um wow that's all I gotta say. Yeah, I, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I don't know, that, that didn't make you wanna fucking... I'm gonna say, if you're on YouTube, please. Subscribe. Uh, like the video. Comment down what you guys thought about this. I thought this was fucking great. As always, smile, keep it up. And let's uh, fight for a future sobriety. Let's switch your eyes. My name is Buddha signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Subscribe yes. to Blue Digit. What? Do it now. Hello. You are a cow. Yeah. Yeah. Subscribe to Blue Digit uh -huh. or else.